this is Amanda. I wanted to talk a little bit about how we, as people, tend to make judgments of other people. And why do we even have the urge to make a judgment of somebody else? Why do we feel like we need to compare ourselves to other people? Um, and this stems from own acceptance of self. So we're kind of searching for acceptance from others or we're searching to try to accept ourselves by comparing ourselves to others so we make a judgment of somebody else who is different than us to make ourselves feel better. So let's say um, if I felt like my hair was too thin, which this is something I used to have a concern about. Um, and I see somebody else with beautiful, thick, long hair that I feel like I can never have. Well, automatically my ego is going to try to search for something wrong in that person just so I can feel better about myself, so I can lift myself up and make a judgment. And that's my way of seeking for approval because I didn't have the approval already within myself. So there my concern is with others instead of just with myself. So I make a judgment. This video is actually in response to somebody making a judgment of me, um, saying that I am anorexic. And this person doesn't know me, has never met me, uh, this person has seen one of my videos and just thought that I was anorexic. And I had asked the person why it was important to them to label me as anorexic. And um, I don't think they took it too well. Um, but the funny thing is, is uh, judgments like these are really just separations of people um, because it's only a judgment of the mind. This person doesn't know me. He's already made up his mind that I am anorexic, but he has no idea who I really am. He has no idea my eating habits. He has no idea my body weight. All he did was make a judgment by the way I look from here up. So, and even if I were to tell him, no, I'm not anorexic, which I did, he's not going to believe that because he's already made his judgment in his head because that's what he's doing to make himself feel better. So he has to put make something wrong with me. So, and you know, it could be easy to make a judgment of a person just by looking at them, and we all do it. We all immediately do it when we, we meet e each other. It's first impressions are the most important. That's when we make judgments of people. We look at how their hair is styled. We look at how they're dressed, their expression on their face, their skin, if they have acne, and we make judgments in our heads of these people immediately, and that's just that's what our mind does. Now we can choose to follow that and not ever really get to know people and just live in our own dream world and fantasize about us being better than everybody. Or we can really get to know people for who they are and shut the mind down and stop making judgments. Because they only separate. They might give you short-term pleasure to make you feel better about yourself, but you're not getting to the, 
to the root of the problem, you're not dealing with yourself. You're focusing your issues on somebody else. And that's not going to solve your problem. So, um, I brought this up to another friend of mine. And she actually said, well, yeah, Amy, you do look sick. You, you do look bad. And she said, I looked, she says, well, maybe you just look tired, but you look gaunt and, you know, your face is all just thin. And so she's assuming that I'm a sick person. Uh, maybe she's agreeing that she thought I was anorexic because of the way I look. And so we talked a little bit about it, and I said, well, I don't know why. I've been getting good sleep. I've been really healthy. I exercise on a daily basis. I eat very healthy food, kind of a nutritious fanatic. In fact, I like to just eat healthy stuff, but I do like to eat chocolate a lot and banana nut bread and cheese. Okay, so those aren't the healthiest things, but I don't care. Shoot. Anyway, um, okay, the point is, is I think she was just used to seeing me with makeup on and I'm not wearing makeup and I'm talking to her and she could see how, hey, I have kind of dark circles under my eyes and, you know, I don't look perfect. I don't have this perfect pretty picture in my face that I used to always paint on my face and so she's not used to me like that and I think a lot of people they get used to seeing uh, people with makeup on or people who are bloated from eating McDonald's and salty french fries and, sh and shitty fast food and chips and all kinds of unhealthy stuff and people are either a little bit overweight which I think most of America is a little bit overweight or they're just extremely unhealthy and that's what people are used to looking at. They're used to looking at painted on women's faces with makeup or just unhealthy people. So uh, people just aren't used to seeing people with um, I guess a healthy size which I am. I'm actually right in there right in the uh, athletic zone of body fat percentage of 18% so and I've been focusing on that for years on trying to stay healthy and that's my thing so um, but anyway uh, so that's just an example of how people just don't really know people because they let them get their, their minds get in the way by making judgments and it's all pretend stuff it's all bullshit in your head it's bullshit. It's not even real. It's a bullshit judgment in your head. What? To make yourself feel better? Why else are you doing it? Why is it your concern about me? About my weight? About my skinniness or fatness? It's in your head. It's crazy. And we do that. You know, we judge celebrities. Oh my gosh, it's all over the place. We just... They're filmed to look perfect. They are pictured in magazines. They're airbrushed. Every single magazine picture is airbrushed. Unless you get like Sun Magazine where they're making fun of them. Those are the real pictures of them. They show up all the little fat spots, their little dimples, and people are like, Oh, oh my God, look at that. They're not perfect. They're normal. Why even bother so much with judgments? Why even bother so much with the way somebody else looks? Why even fool yourself? It's all a lie. It's all a lie you're making up in your head. Okay? So, I just want to show for the person and for anybody else who wants to still make this judgment in their head, I'm just going to prove something to you. Yes, maybe I look anorexic because my bones tend to stick out. I have thin skin. Yes, I'm one of the unlucky people who has thin skin and my face is going to wrinkle fast and, you know, I'm just going to look old fast. So what? 
But for you to make a judgment and just stick with it, you're lying to yourself, okay? This is my anorexic stomach. All right, how anorexic is this, okay? I can grab the fat, all right? Oh my gosh, this girl needs to start eating something. Jeez, she's just so skinny. Jeez. Okay, so look. <laughs> now you gotta realize what your mind is doing to you. You're playing tricks on yourself in your head, okay? The same goes with movie stars. The same goes with models and magazines. It's all in your head. That's what we do. We make judgments. So stop the mind. Stop making the judgments. Stop the separation. And if you have a problem with yourself, deal with yourself. Stop comparing yourself to other people. Stop making judgments of other people and making yourself feel good just by making bad judgments about other people. I mean, how ridiculous is that? Start taking responsibility for yourself. Focus on yourself. And I see we do way too much judgments with models, with celebrities. I swear it's all over the place. I, m half the news is about celebrities. Who fucking cares? Who cares? It's ridiculous. What, we just don't want to take care of ourselves? Okay, so look. Stop the mind. Get real with yourself. Do some self-forgiveness on why you feel the way you feel about yourself. That's what you do. Take care of yourself. Focus on yourself. Stop being so concerned with everybody else. Okay. Thank you.